Here's my favorite dude with the coolest shoes all the way from Maslin, Ohio. Give it up for Eric Simons. Yeah, a shoe comment. She always comments my shoes. They're the kind I can't run away with, so I, I hope I can do well and not have to run. And you know, I, uh, I asked them to paint this for me uh, before the show. I said I wanted a superhero that shoots out desktop backgrounds. Uh, <laughs> And they did a great job. I'm not a very confident person. I'm not confident because I don't have a lot of life, I don't have any life experiences that warrant me being a confident person. I'll tell you the story about the one time that I tried to be confident. I was in college, it was a party, and I was feeling pretty good about myself. I had the sweater that I liked that I was wearing, I was looking good, I was feeling good. And to make matters even better, this really attractive woman comes up to me and starts talking to me. And when you're barely a marginally attractive person like myself. This is a very rare occurrence. So you have to treat it like you're in the woods and a baby deer has come up to you. And you just have to, you just have to appreciate the magic of that moment and just try not to scare it away. So she's talking to me. But I realize she's kind of lightly insulting me the whole time. And I don't know, is she drunk and just bad at flirting, or does she legitimately hate my guts and is just roasting me? So, again, as, uh, as somebody trying not to scare away the baby deer, I'm like, I'll just play it cool, try and ride this out, see how it goes. But she keeps ratcheting up the insults until finally she looks at my sweater. She's like, that's a stupid sweater. It's gay. Are you gay? Are you a fag, you little fag? And I didn't like the tone, I certainly didn't like the language, so I decided, hey, I'm feeling confident. I'll, I'll, be com I'll do a confident guy thing, which in, in my mind was, I tilt my head back like a cool guy, and I kind of like look down and I go, move along. <laughs> and I don't, know, I don't know why that was my idea of something cool to do, but anyway, I do that, and she looks dismayed. She, I could tell, like, look on her face. No one's ever talked to me like that before, kind of look. But she doesn't say anything. She turns around and walks away. So I think, wow, this confident thing works out for me. I, I need to be confident more often. As soon as I finish that thought, she comes back. Now with one of the largest guys I've ever seen next to her. This guy's head is, like, scraping the ceiling. He looks like Shrek, star of the movie Shrek 2. Um, and she goes, she goes, do you know this is my party? And this is my house? And this is my roommate? And he'll be removing you. And without a word from the ogre man, and without any debate from me, he lifts me up like a baby out of its high chair, walks me across the party until we're outside, sets me down near the trash cans. And I realize in that moment, this pretty much sums up what it's like for me trying to be confident. It, it starts off okay, and then I just end up regarded as trash. And, you know, <laughs> I didn't want to get Oz for that. Uh, and, it, it, it <laughs> and uh, you know, it all happened so fast. It, went, it, it felt exactly like this. Hey, I'm looking good. I'm feeling good. Wow, this hot girl's talking to me. Oh, she's a bigot, so I'll tell her to buzz off. Hey, they're throwing, a lot of, throwing out a lot of beer cans around here. I <laughs> hope they recycle. Uh, I'm not a very smart person either. I'm pretty unintelligent. Uh, I want to read more books, but I'm just bad at reading books. I don't have a good book brain. My, my mind just actively resists me while I'm trying to read. Like, I can feel it. Like, I'll, I'll be reading along, and it's just like, what are you doing trying to sneak in all this non-essential information? <laughs> Survival tips only, man. <laughs> and, um, you know, I'll try to power through. But then after enough time, it's just like, all right, that's it. We're shutting it down. And I go right to sleep. Like, nothing knocks me out like reading three sentences of literature, <laughs> which is terrible to say. Um, and also, when someone gives me a book as a gift, that gives me such incredible anxiety. Because I know eventually they're going to ask me, what did you think of the book? And then I, I can't tell them the truth. I can't tell them that I read 10 pages, and now the book is serving as an important structural element to a blanket fort that I built. Uh, and then, 
when you do finish a book, like you're supposed to be a smarter person for it. However, when I finish a book and I run out to Pizza Hut and tell them I finished and ask for a free personal pan pizza as a reward, they treat me so, so stupid. Pizza Hut and Book It are ageist. Right, thanks, guys. Good job. Give it up. Eric Simons. I would give you a pizza, Eric. For sure. You and your cute shoes.